guys, what's going on? I'm back with another video for you. Um, I know I said that I was going to do a video on the Deeper app and just go over all of its different features and everything, but I think that's probably going to work best if I show the different features when I'm actually using them, when I'm using the Deeper. So as an appropriate video comes up where I can show you some of those features with the Deeper, then I will show those. But the next most requested video was on moon phases. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, actually a two part series on moon phases because I just really want to cover the moon phases themselves in this video. And then in the next video, I'll talk to you about whether or not that's related and what to look for and a little more information about how to relate those moon phases to fishing itself. So you've heard me mention the Solunar theory. John Alden Knight was the first to popularize this theory, which predicts the best day and time of increased fishing activity, to which the bite may be at its best or it may be at its worst. And he did so by compiling a list of 33 elements from fishing folklore, of which he was able to eliminate all but three key elements, the sun, the moon, and tides. So the Solunar theory states that animals and fish will move according to the location of the sun or the moon. So basically what that's saying is if you can track the moon, you can theoretically track the fish. So the earth is in constant motion around the sun to which the moon is orbiting around the earth. And as the sun reflects off the moon, it causes a different portion of it to glow. So half the moon is actually always lit. We just don't always see it from our perspective here on Earth. There are four phases of the moon. You have your new moon, which is the start of the cycle. And the new moon is when the moon is between the Earth and the sun and none of it is lit. So this is the darkest moon. And this is when the moon is nearest to the sun. So of course it's darker because the sun's so bright, it's shining out the light, it's not reflecting that much off of it, so the moon therefore is dark. So the moon rises with the sun and it sets with the sun during a new moon. Now, as time goes on, the moon moves away from the sun and it becomes more and more visible. It's reflecting more light. So you have what is known as a crescent moon. And this is also known as a waxing <coughs> crescent moon because waxing means increasing over time. So the amount of light that is illuminating the moon is increasing slowly over time. So then you move on to what is known as the second phase of the moon. And the second phase of the moon is the first quarter moon. And this is when the moon is cut in half. Half of it is illuminated. So you move on from there and you go on to what is known as a waxing gibbous moon. And this is when more than half of the moon is illuminated. And then from there, you move on to what is known as the full moon. Now, the full moon is at the point when the Earth is between the moon and the sun. And you see that entire lit up side. So that's why we call it a full moon, because you're seeing that entire half of the moon that is lit up from the Earth. And it is opposite the sun at this point in time. So when the sun rises, the moon sets, and when the sun sets, the moon rises. And again, your full moon is going to be your brightest moon. Now from there, you move on to a waning gibbous, which what this is, is remember you're going from that full moon to now you're going and it's shrinking down. It's not quite half yet, but it's shrinking down from a full. And then from there, you move into the fourth phase, which this fourth phase is your third quarter phase. And this is when you have that half moon that's lit again. And then from there, you move on down to a waning crescent. And again, the waning is because that you're decreasing over time. So you come to that waning crescent and then you push down into the new moon again. Now the complete cycle is 29 and a half days for the moon for, to go from new moon 
to new moon is 29 and a half days. And this cycle or the changes between each phase is generally about a week or so. Hey guys, I know that was a lot of information that I just threw at you, but if you want to skim it down to an easy to use app, Deeper does have a Solunar calendar on their app as well as the weather. So you can check moon phases as you can see here, although I'm not really keyed into an exact search area, but you can look and see when the major and minor fishing times are, which we'll cover that in the next video, which should be up next week. So keep a lookout for that. But again, um, check out the Deeper app if you wanna see a calendar firsthand. Um, you can also check out your weather on that. And if you have any questions about any of the moon phases or anything else, um, do leave that in the comments below. But again, please keep a lookout for that video that's going to be up next week when I'm going to relate these moon phases to fishing. So thanks for watching, guys. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you soon.